going the extra mile. Thank you, Mr. Douglas. I won't be going anywhere. Have fun on your travels. Toad sat in the yards for a long while, whilst engines big and small passed merrily by with their trains. However, when there were no trains, the station was silent, and it wasn't long before Toad began to feel a little bored. <sighs> I would have thought I'd be due for my next train now. There's nothing to do. Oh, good morning, Mr. Truck. You don't look very happy. I have a name, you know. Oh, sorry. What's your name? I'd rather not talk about it. Oh, okay. Don't worry. I've got a strange name too. My name's Toad. Oh, wh where are you going? Hopefully far away from you. <laughs> Sorry, Toad. I need to put these trucks back in line. Good day, Mr. Thomas. What are you doing here? Not sure. Farquhar one day, Wellsworth the next. Who knows where I'll be tomorrow? I'll probably be on the mainland for all I know. Either way, there's a lot of something to do on the main line, so I'll be around for a while. See you later, Toad. Oh. And once Goodbye. again, Toad was left on his own. Hello, Toad. What's wrong? You look upset. I'm so bored, Mr. Stepney, sir. All day I've been here and there's nothing to do. Just look at all the people on the platform. They spend all their time staring at those strange square things in their hand whilst they wait for their trains. I need some sort of entertainment. Ah, oh, you're quite right, but that's the 21st century for you. What do you suggest? I've been sitting here for a long time now, and I've been thinking, everyone likes music. What if we had music playing at all of the stations so that people can listen to it? No, little brake valve. On the mainland, a lot of the big stations have pianos for passengers to play while they wait for their trains. Ah, oh, it's such a wreck. That's a brilliant oh. idea. What if we had pianos on the platforms? That'll make everyone much happier. Well, not everyone. Uh, I shouldn't have suggested that now, should I? Well, you can't just find musical instruments anywhere, little brake van. Where are you going to find money to buy pianos for all the stations, hmm? We'll make the money. Don't put someone else's good ideas down, Spencer. Toad, we could do some fundraising. Fundraising? <laughs> Nonsense! What are you planning to do? Run a marathon? Ah, that's yeah, exactly what we'll do. Uh, what? You're serious? Oh. What if we did a non-stop run right across the island? I, I, I was joking! And you're going to do this non-stop run, eh? You? You're just a little tank engine shunter. There's no way you'd have enough coal, or water, or courage to go across the whole island without stopping. It's over 60 miles long. Even big tender engines like you run out of water, eh, Spencer? It should be easy for you. You have a corridor tender nearly as big as I am. So you could have another just for your water like Flying Scotsman used to have. If I may intervene, may I suggest you make your own water tender for such a long journey? I'll see if I can find one for you. Thank you, Toad. I'll speak to the Fat Controller about this. I think it's a great idea. Someone has to think it's a good idea. I think it'll be quite pitiful to watch if that's what you mean. But it should be funny to watch. The Fat Controller was quick to approve, and arrangements were soon made for the Terrier and Brake Van's adventure. Here you are, Stephanie. A gift from my friend, Mr. O'Donnell. Don't worry, it's filled with water, but it's the best I can find. Good luck. Thanks, Thomas. Be seeing you. At last, the day of the marathon arrived. Stepney picked up Toad at Harwick and waited patiently with the water tanker coupled behind whilst people gathered around in the early morning to see the train off. Atop his cab, the driver had piled extra lumps of coal to be used throughout the journey. This was common practice when Stepney used to work on the Hailing Island. I'm a little nervous now, if I'm perfectly honest. I didn't expect this many people to be here. Don't worry, Mr. Stepney, sir. You've got plenty of steam and water. And you can pick up extra buckets of coal at all of the stations. I just hope that's enough. The guard's whistle blew, and they were off. I've never had so much attention. Godspeed, Mr. Stepney, sir. Godspeed. The first length of the journey went very smoothly. Duck and Oliver were waiting at Arlesborough and whistled an encouragement as they headed onwards to Tidmouth. <laughs> it's the 
main line from here on out, Toad. I guess we'll have to fast track. I pace myself a fire on your wheel, sir. You don't want to run out of breath because you can't stop to catch it. Well, that's certainly reassuring. Thank goodness there's plenty of water in the tanker or we'd never make it. Far further down the track, Bill and Ben were playing hide and seek in the yards. Five, six, uh, four times, uh, seven, eight, Ben won't think nine, to look here. Ten, and he didn't. Eleven, twelve, oh forget it. Ready or not, here I come. Hmm, I bet he's gone down to the quarry. Here's loads of tracks along Edwards Branch to look. Wait till I find him. Bill waited for a long while, until at last he heard the approach of another engine, but it wasn't his twin. Whoever it was, they clearly didn't see Bill either, and left their trucks on the track, blocking him in. Uh oh, wait! Come back! Oops. Looks like I'll be here for a while. Stepney and Toad were keeping their record, and making good time too. At each of the stations, they changed lines, where the station master would be waiting with a couple of coal buckets. The driver slowed down, and exchanged the empty buckets with fresh coal, before continuing on their journey back up the express line. Everything was going well. Oh, looks like we're being sidelined off the express track, Mr Stepney. Well, we aren't near any stations. There must be another engine overtaking us. Those points were a bit bumpy. Everything was going well. <gasps> oh no! What's happened? The water pipe has burst, the tank is leaking. Can it be fixed? Not without stopping. Oh, we're losing water fast, Toad. What are we going to do? Here comes Mr Spencer. Perhaps he can be of some assistance. Dear, I told you you wouldn't have enough water to make it, little Stepney, but there's no need to go washing it onto the tracks. You're real funny, aren't you, Spencer? We're in a bit of trouble, yes, uh, the water pipe has burst. <laughs> I told you from the start this was a bad idea. Oh well, I guess I'll be the only one across the finish line today. Here we are! <sighs> Never mind, Toad. Let's just get as far as we can, okay? At Wellsworth, Thomas pulled into the station to find it was in a terrible state. Cinders and ashes! What on earth has happened here? Isn't there any engine to shut all this out? This is meant to be the main line! Hello? Hello? Bill? Ben? Is that one of you two? Why are you hidden away? Neglection. I mean, I would shunt all these trucks if I wasn't stuck in this siding. Ugh, well, great. That means I'll be the one to do it then. Well, you've got to earn a living somehow, other than being vain, rude, and in the centre of attention all the time. Oh no, what's all this? I've got a train to get through here. And that train will have to wait. I've got to clear these tracks first, and no trains are getting through at all. Don't worry about Stepney's special. <laughs> I'd be surprised if they make it this far. <laughs> what makes you say that? Oh, they'll probably run out of water getting over Gordon's ill. The tanker they have is likely empty by now. Hmm. Well, we should do something to help them. This is a fundraising train, Spencer. The whole point of it running is so it doesn't stop. What are you suggesting we do? It's a lost cause. Hopeless. I'm going home. Get out of the way. Get on with life. Enjoy ourselves. Hmm. Don't put someone else's good ideas down, Spencer. Surely you've got plenty of water. Why don't you run alongside them and have a pipe running across from your tender? you oh. Irritatingly clever for a little tank engine, you know. Fine, fine, well, this better work. We're breaking a lot of mainline rules and regulations doing this. Miles behind, as optimistic as he was, Stepney was losing hope faster than he was losing water. Toad tried his best to reassure him. We can do this. All you need to do is keep moving. One wheel turn at a time. Thank you, Toad. But I can only go so far before I completely run out of water. Maybe a bigger engine should have done this. Speaking of bigger engines... Spencer? I didn't expect to see you out here in the middle of nowhere. 
Oh, please don't tell me you've run out of water. Ironically, I'm here to prevent you from doing just that. Right, now let's get this over and done with. Try and keep the same speed. I'm going to throw a water pipe from my tent to your tanks to keep you going. What? If I may intervene, that's an extremely dangerous maneuver. I don't think health and safety would be very pleased with I this. thought you thought this run was pointless. I know how pathetic it looks when an engine runs out of water. But you look like you could use a hand. Right, here we go. Spencer, I really needed a drink. Don't mention it, little one, but could you hurry it up? I'm really finding it very difficult to stay at this speed. With that problem solved, back at Wellsworth, Thomas was finding it difficult to solve a different problem. This is terrible. The non-stop train is due any minute, and the tracks aren't clear. Will you get out of here and help me out? Where's your twin? Sorry. Why should I know? Bill? Bill? Bill! Bill? No. Oh. The saddle tank and side tank hurried about the station, trying to clear up the mess left by the other engines. Oh no! They're nearly here! There's just that one track left to clear! Oh, I got it! I got it! Oh no! Ow! Shoot! Ah! Ah! The fate of oh, you! Thanks for clearing the line! Sorry, you can't stop! We know that. Do you reckon they'll make it? Yes, that should do it. He's got full water tanks now. It would have been a lot less stressful if you and Ben hadn't been foolish, Bill. Sorry. I'm feeling a lot better now, Toad. Are you okay back there? Never better, Mr. Stepney, sir. It should be clear run from here. On to Vickerstown we go. Nearly there, you two. Do you require any assistance? Well, an A4 escort would be nice, thinking about it. <laughs> Don't push it. Town, Stepney and Toad saw a crowd awaiting them. They entered the station in fine style and were relieved to finally come to a stop. Whew! Oh, we made it, Toad! We made it! Congratulations, Mr. Stepney, sir. And in good time, too. This is a wonderful achievement. You've just got to have faith, you know. Well done, you two. You certainly surprised me. I'll be honest, I didn't think you were going to make it. Neither did I for a short while. It's certainly a bit more than the 11 miles I'm used to at Bluebell. Couldn't have done it without you, though. Oh, I know. I know. I know. Right, well, I'd better be off. I've got to get back to the mainland. I'll be back in a few weeks, I suppose. Thanks for all your help, Spencer. Right, Toad, I think we deserve a rest. From then on, at all of the big stations on the island, the sound of music made the hills come alive, as the engines went about their work. The passengers were much happier to be able to play and listen to the pianos as they waited for their trains. Fans of the railway even visited sometimes, and played a different song for each of the engines. Oh, 
Oh, what a bag! I knew this was a terrible idea! Oh. Excuse me. I am a well-established fan and enthusiast of Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends, and I know that you are an A4 class called Spencer. Number, I can't remember your number, but you are currently painted in the <laughs> British Railways Brunswick Green with the late crest on your tender, whereas you should be painted in the London North Eastern Railway Silver livery with wheel skirts, as that is how you appeared in the television show. <laughs> And therefore, you are inaccurate to your appearance oh, yeah. since mm, season seven. Nice. Well, if you, were, if you were, if you were such an expert, you would know that an engine can be painted in more than one livery. Since I'm here right now, this is what I'm painted as. So it's accurate. You think with a little bit of music, he'd be more cheered up? Oh well, I expect you won't be bored from now on, Alto. See you soon. I've run out of water.